Now, the rest of the story. Roy Sullivan, Waynesboro, Virginia, never harmed a soul in his life. Yet he is being pursued by a mysterious attacker. The attacker has caught up with him seven times. Seven times Roy has been abused, injured. The last time he spent four days in the hospital. His family and friends and neighbors know the assailant, and they also know that there is nothing anyone can do to protect Roy. No lawful weapon, no legal recourse. It's as though an awesome web of violence is being woven around a single man, and worse still, as though time is running out. It all started many years ago. Roy was at work just doing his job when an intruder entered the premises, sought out Roy, and knocked him down. Knocked him down hard, severely injuring his right hip. Then the intruder just left, was never apprehended. Nobody could make head or tail of it. The attack had been utterly unprovoked. That was in 1942. Twenty-seven years passed without further incident. Roy lived peacefully as before, although occasionally, at a distance, he caught a glimpse of that same lone, decidedly irrational assailant. Roy's friends tried to reassure him that the attacker would probably now stay at bay. The whole thing was best forgotten, they'd say. And Roy tried to forget. Then in 1969, he was driving along the highway in his truck, Last thing he expected at that moment was to be stopped in the middle of the road by his old nemesis, but he was. And once again, no rhyme, no reason. He suffered a devastating blow to the face that knocked him cold for 15 minutes. When he awoke, his money and credit cards were still in his wallet, so robbery could be eliminated as a motive. But even as Roy reported the incident, he realized that this was not the end. Somehow, for some reason, he was a marked man. So believing he was helpless to fight back, he did not even try when a year later he was attacked on the sidewalk in front of his own home. And yes, it was the same attacker. Roy's left shoulder and left leg were injured that time. And it would not be the last time. It happened again two years later, and again the year after that, and again and again. One time Roy was on a fishing vacation, hoping to avoid his relentless persecutor, but in vain. So you will understand why friends began to steer clear, just in case, and why local restaurateurs not wishing their establishments to become scenes of violence started closing their doors to Roy, and why Roy himself dares not remain in the same room with his family for too long. He's done his best to protect his home, but who's to say when the irrational attacker will strike elsewhere? After all, it's happened seven times. Chances are it'll happen again. Now, one thing, Roy has learned to predict the inexplicable violence, if only by two or three seconds. That's all the warning he has. A trace of sulfur in the air and the bristling of his hair. And then, though it is too late, he knows that once more he will be struck by lightning. Now... You know the rest of the story.